So we're about to start the final debate. This debate is going to um, de decide who's going to be the top two, first and second place. So the topic for all the parents, if you don't know, the topic is school uniforms should be mandatory. And the team of LLH is going to be proposition, the other team is going to be opposition. So we're going to start now. The first proposition speaker can commence. Commence. The timer is right over there, jamming there. Okay. Um. Whatever you're doing. My name is Kevin Lee, and today I'm the, going to be the first speaker for the proposition side. So I'm going to first define the definition of school uniforms should be mandatory. School uniforms means an article of clothing worn by students for a school or institution for educated students. Children. Mandatory means required by laws or rules. And, the, and my summary is that school uniforms should be mandatory because they create a better learning environment. They increase safety and unity, creates a focus on education, and is cheaper. We're going to use uniforms in elementary and middle school, then phrase out into high school so students can prepare for adulthood. My first point is it increased student safety. Everyone is dressed the same and more rec connected, recognizable. Intruders can be easily recognized. After two years of mandatory uniform policy in Long Beach, California, for grades K through eight, fighting and incidents went down by 51%, sex were cut off by 74%, robbery dropped by 65%, possession of weapon decreased by 52%, and possession of drugs went down by 69%. And I got this from the Education and Urban Society. This matters because students' safety is way more important than school uniforms. My next point is that it keeps students focused on education, not clothes. When all students are wearing the same outfit, they will focus on school, not what they wear. A 2010 University of Houston study showed that elementary school girls' language text scores in increased by three percentile points, which is large considering grades after wearing uniform. I got this from Utella's education. This matters because if you focus on your clothes and not your education, you will get a bad grade in school. My next point is that it decreases bullying with everyone, and with everyone with the same clothes, there is no competition for who has the best clothes. We're teasing people with less fashionable outfits. This also prevents the use of gang color. In a 2013 survey by the National Association of Elementary School Principals, 86% of school leaders said uniforms make a significant positive impact on peer pressure, and 64% of people say that they reduce bullying. And I got this from National Association for Elementary School Principals.org. This matters because you will be bullied and be sad. The last point is that school uniforms cost less as compared to preferred clothing of, of the children. child. Nowadays, clothes like school uniforms are pretty cheap. Also, money will be spent on useless fads and that will die out quickly. This, this saves parent money that can be used to make their child's life better or other needs. Average annual cost for uniform is $249. An average, average annual cost on non-uniform school clothing is more. And I got this from Status Brain World of Labor, Labor Statics. In the United Kingdom, average uniform costs for $128.79 per outfit. And average, but, but, but out of school clothes, costs were average $165.79 per outfit. And I got this information from schoolwearassociation.co.uk. Depends on clothes. And 89% of parents have some sort of budget that they can use to help their children and spend money wisely. They will use the extra money well. And I got this from T. Rao Price. 
This matters because parents can save money to spend on their needs and for their kids. And this will conclude my debate. Thank you. the first opposition speaker.
columns delete primary impressions. Since every student is dressed exactly the same, students can judge who would be a good, good to be befriend. Whereas if you have your own dressing sense, students would have a proper initial idea of a person's personality. A 2006 Princeton Review stated that usually the first one tenth of a second is used to judge a person's appearance and his effects a person's idea of another permanent. A 2009 study published in the journal Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin found that their clothing style and posture played a role in, in initial perceptions. So this is from the Huffington class. So now that all my points are done, I'd like to conclude it. They all make an impact because it basically shows that if we have school uniforms, then students, um, it will it will make them perform worse in academics, and it will decrease their concentration. That's all I have for you judges. Thank you. Well, with a time of five minutes and 24 seconds.
school uniforms do is they take away your right to express yourself using clothing. Because many many children have trouble expressing themselves using clothing. So they resort to clothing. So this backs them into a corner where they're forced to talk, even if they're shy, forced to do what they don't want to do, which is technically against the spirit of the law. Um, uh, for my fourth one, uh, my second to last one, uh, school uniforms, in fact, create decreases in student behavior. There are many places where students um, start in school protests about school uniforms, according to teacher, principal, and superintendent, Todd Hayden. In fact, there were nine lawsuits against schools because of student behavior for 2014 about decreases in student behavior. We got this from the conversation.com. And for my last and final point, I would like to say that school uniforms take away the point of a free education. Because there's, there are so many, as I said before, they're two hundred and forty nine dollars, and they're what and on, on average, on, um, every year Americans pay one point three billion dollars just for clothes. So, it's, okay. Um, okay, so now I'll just recap all of my points. So my first one is about harsh punishments for something really trivial. Trivial, like not wearing a solid white shirt under your um, under your uniform, or or not wearing a belt. There's really harsh punishments, and also it's really expensive. It's two hundred and forty nine dollars, and costs one point three billion dollars statewide. Um, and then it um, it's against the spirit of the First Amendment, um, and it also decreases student makes decreases in student behavior. Nine lawsuits, in fact. And it takes away the point of free education. With this, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you, judges. Now we have time of five minutes flat.
So it turned. So the first proposition speaker said that school uniforms would be safety are cheaper, keep the students more focused, and decrease bullying. However, our opposition one speaker uh, refuted every single one of those, saying that um, using our assertions to point out that the school uniforms actually decrease safety, and cost more, and they keep the students less focused, and they increase bullying. In addition, Proposition 2 speaker, they brought up three points. School pro increases school pride. They don't have to worry about the dress code anymore, and there's less things to bully about. However, Opposition 2 speaker uh, pointed out that school pride isn't really true school pride if it's forced. There's harsh punishments, so they do have to worry about the dress code. And in response to there's less things to bully, there's a new set of topics. In comparison, every single one of our nine points still stand. However, there was still a back and forth on hinders vital skills. They responded that they can be still held by their parents. However, opposition two responded, you need to start at the beginning or else you won't um, be successful all night. So now I'm going to go to my tour of Jesus. So it's easy to see the difference between our two worlds. The opposition world students are focused creative and good decision makers. They don't have to worry about bullying, harsh punishments, wasting money, or who would be a good friend or not. Most importantly, they have the comfort of not going against the, first, the spirit of the First Amendment. The proposition world students are unfocused, uncreative, and bad decision makers. They have to worry about bullying, harsh punishments, wasting money, and who to be friend. They go against the whole spirit of the First Amendment, the freedom of expression. Like I said, the difference is quite clear. The opposition has positive students creating a healthy school atmosphere today, and a successful business empire to Thank you. Caleb, they already know about everything. They can bully or they at least know about a lot of things. 
so they'll still be with us on that. And um, so again, our points were that it increases safety in schools, it brings a focus on education, it decreases bullying, it costs less, and all these make for a great environment in schools to make great students. And it, um, and we also had the points that it enhances school pride and there's no word for the dress code, so like this makes getting dressed in the morning easier. And then all of their points, we've already disproved them as we went along. So like, no true education. So using vital skills, it's um, worth um, doing that to stop the um, bullying attacks and also judging those um, judgings would be unfair, judging by how they look, so that's bad. And um, I've already gone over the refuse for our second opposition speaker, so now into um, why we won. We had reliable sources, we had logical points, we had good evidence. However, the uh, opposition side, they were kind of unsure, they said um a lot, and they had less sources. And for a true analysis, in our world, the proposition world, students feel free to express themselves and more unique or independent, leading to a better overall performance. In, um, it, yeah, and in um, opposition's world, or yeah, in our world, so students feel together as a group, right, they can work better. And in opposition's world, students feel disconnected from their peers and everyone's is weak and bullying is rampant. So our world is clearly better to judge.